Hey again, in this video I want to talk more details about button events and callback. So to get started, I will create a new file. I will name it callback, okay? And for sure, to get started, I have say hey from tk enter import start. Then I say hey from tk enter import ttk, okay? Then we have the root, I say hey, root equal tk, then I say hey, root dot main loop. That's what we have it. So what I want to do, I want to add a button. So I say okay, bu equal uh, ttk dot button, and this button have a text, click me, this way, click me, one, and this should be as a text for the button and this button also should add it to the root so it should be root okay and that is and let me suppose this button try to call a specific method which is you could add in any place but to be clear let me add it here I will name it def uh, bu click okay and this button basically this is in, this symbol and I say hey print button button is a click it okay this let me just start in this simple way so then this button should be called from here by writing command okay or call the button click and that is now hopefully I have everything ready but if I just run it uh, I don't see any button now because I didn't pick it so I have to say hey bu dot pick so it could appear so now we rerun it again there you go this is the button click me so i click it hey button is a click it but now if you see first of all i don't see any necessary to having this instance from this button so if you don't use the instance of the button it's better to move it here okay if you don't use it so i could do it here in this way because it's not, it's not necessary to do it and it's like getting same result I don't use the instance of the button so same result now that's good now what if the, I want the button to receive something like ID and I want here to print the ID okay dot format for the ID but now if you say hey this button get ID if I just send the ID here as you believe for example I want to send 10 now if you run it he will not show you 10 and he will not call the button either either I think he show you for one time is that right but wait when you just run it he just directly show you 10 so why this happened I didn't click anything why he just directly show me 10 why I when now I click on the button I don't see anything the problem is this when the Python scan this button and he see this event, he say this event, hey, have this value and it need to be assigned to this object. So let me go and execute this event. He will go here and execute it and print data and return. There is no data returned, so he will return null. So he will add null in the command. So because command now have null, so when anyone try to click on the button, he did not fire anything. Now how to make this event be fired when button click it not getting the result so just to give you a refresh again this now bringing the re this one when the document is scanned he be in this line he go and run it and he return null and he add null in this command it's basically to solve this problem using lambda you know what you mean lambda lambda is still same function just say lambda equal so lambda doesn't expect any input but it run this function we understand about lambda before so you, now what you say you say hey this button when anyone click when you scan this uh, document you get lambda you have to think about lambda have specific function call inside it so now when you run it you will not show anything here you will not fire this event because you will consider it as a function call inside lambda so now when you click button he just working so you will see this case when you are later on in the game so, so whenever you want to pass any information to the your button click, you have to make sure from this thing. You have to make sure you're seeing lambda. Have you done? And thank you for watching.